This episode, we are finally caught up on Skimmy Moon the Fantasy Season 2, and I have heard a lot of complaints that I've kind of voiced my opinion on in the last couple episodes, right? I think a lot of people are upset that they're focusing so much on these other disciples, the heroes, right? And it's not enough Makoto. But to me, I felt like episode 2 and 3 were really great in terms of adding substance to the show, adding world building, showing us the perspective of these two different heroes that were summoned, showing the different perspective of how the human and demon war were even happening to the point where Makoto got summoned in because the goddess was like, fuck, my heroes are ass, absolute dookie. Do I really have to rely on this ugly kid? I guess I have to. I don't know. Stuff like that, different timelines, different perspectives to know that was very interesting. And even the emotional moment between Naval and Hibiki, right? I, it was only two episodes, but the way that she sacrificed herself and the way that Io, the strongest demon apparently in the battlefield was like honorable and showing respect. Yo, I love that shit. I didn't hate any of them. I didn't hate the demons, nor did I hate our team. You know who I hated? Fuck that Tomiko guy. What's his name? Tomoki? Tomika? Fuck that guy's name. I'm gonna intentionally butcher his name every time. Let's begin today's reaction though. No. The only surprise we're gonna get is death with that cooking. Okay. Is it gonna actually turn out good? Oh right, our attack formed an actual lake, dude. That's insane. We actually changed the landscape. We actually getting into the academy arc now? Academy? Central city, here we go. <laughs> They're looking at us. They're realizing we're ugly. Oh, look at the academy outfits. Academy outfits, right? We saw from the opening. Humans persecute humans? Interesting. They ran out of people to fucking bully, so they bully other uglier humans? What? She seems pretty... despondent. Empty. Save the maid! Giga Chen moment come coming. No, this is not... Wait, no. This looks like a proposal. It looks like he's trying to ask her out, actually. Uh. Don't be rude! Pushes her onto the fucking ground! What is that logic?! <laughs> Damn, we got ignored. Oh. oh. Oh no, I thought we were gonna be a hero there for a second. We didn't even- he didn't even- they didn't even read. That's right, because we don't speak. We just showed us the text. We're basically fucking coming, we can't communicate, we just show paper. Please read. I ain't reading that shit. <laughs> Shiki, get in there. Yeah, look at these clothes. We're noble academy goers. I don't know. They be dead. They be dead. But Shiki, as he says, with Shiki's face there, whenever you don't see a person's eyes, it's all shady like that. Hmm, wait, is Shiki about to do something crazy? Hold up. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Because this is his actual regular default voice, right? Nanami's voice actor. But like, when he has to play Shiki, it's got to be so high-pitched. <laughs> Let's kill him. Yes, cut their limbs off. <laughs> We're not. I think the lady's not interested. I promise I won't kill you. I mean, he is right. <laughs> we gonna, wait, they got fucking wands? What the fuck? Wait, do we have wands? No, we don't. Makoto doesn't really have wands. He just fucking creates shit. Well, then again, in season finale, we did have that like arrow looking thing that we were holding on to, which kind of acted like, you know, like a, like a wand, right? But okay, there are wands here in this world. Cringe. They gotta fucking do incantations. <laughs> they gotta do a fucking 30 second incantation. But we can't use winds. Are they flexing? <laughs> They're trying to flex on us? Look, when Frieden or Fern shows out of nowhere and descends from the heavens on top of a moonlight, right? And looks all fucking scary like that. That is intimidating. <laughs> you are like two inches off the ground. <laughs> Who, are you scared? You scared bitch? <laughs> yeah, where's the next part? What, what are you doing? Party tricks? Party tricks? <laughs> oh, they only know Wingardium Leviosa because they're fucking rookie students. I'm just starting to realize everybody, and on top of that, 
An academy exists, but regular school doesn't. Their education system is so trash. So they're probably so fucking weak, huh? Every like mage here, every like a magician, like student, most of them are probably just gonna be complete trash. They just know party tricks. They do know wind magic though that we don't know. See, this is what a staff looks like. CGI. Wait, 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 can they? Counter what if they just fall? Counter spelling. So basically able to reverse whatever magic happened. This is completely new, right? I don't think we've seen this in season one. Counter spelling, okay. Dispelling an ally. It's gotta be an ally spell only. Like it can't be enemy spell. That's pretty <laughs> useless if it's bound by only ally spell. Not that you, how would you even like know it's an ally or enemy? Like how? Whatever. <laughs> she hates us. Run away. <laughs> Bitch, you wanna get fucked up too? It's because we're, we're fucking ugly, right? It's because we're ugly, right? God damn it. <laughs> Please forget that I existed. Just go away. Stop humiliating me. Oh! Free meal? Okay, I take my bitch slap back. I take my bitch slap back. Okay, okay, okay. Hot pot? Let's go. Let's go. She was a little rude, but we got to see a little dere side at the end. Maybe sundere, maybe? Yeah. Also, it is kind of suspicious. And what about the students? Are they still up there? Can they fall These <laughs> fucking idiots. <laughs> let him fall and die. No, let him hang on there. Counterspell this right now. Fucking let him fall through a death. No, counterspell it. All right, they got they got a, they got a little drop. No, that was good, Shiki. I like that. Okay, her name is Luria. You pay for this. My father is the head fucking master of this. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Elam. I will forget this. He runs away, master. <laughs> they are an absolute waste of time, but saving the girl was worth it. Oh. No, the look in your eyes is interesting to me. I feel like Makoto's characters, we are getting led to believe that um, he is like supposed to be like this nice kid, this kind kid. But there are some moments in this show, especially in season one, they sprinkle in moments where Makoto gets like kind of like irritated, angry. For example, the Rembrandt arc when we were like making those potions and the Alchemy Meister fucking tripped. And then he was like, fucking idiot. Like, there's some moments where he gets actually visibly upset. I'm like, is this just fun or is there like um like a deeper side, a psyche that we don't really understand on Makoto? And then that got even more pronounced in episode 11 when we basically <laughs> disarmed, you know, the human, right? And he started like, he loved that shit. And I was all for the torture, but no regular person does that, you know? So like, there's something in here I feel like that's fucked up that the author is sometimes revealing through moments like this, just a little bit, that kind of, kind of like, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I just feel like he's different from what's being shown in the anime. Something's off here, man. Something is definitely disconnected. Entrance exam! Let's go! Oh, we get to open a new story. I mean, that's the ultimate goal. What? Why? We're gonna be a teacher of this school? Why are we becoming a teacher, though? Rembrandt's documentation was for teacher, not student. I mean... I mean... So, but we don't even know, like, advanced magic. We just have so much mana, right? It's like, we don't know advanced magic, but I guess compared to what these other students know, I guess we're still really legit, so... Interesting. <laughs> what is his best plan for making him a teacher? Hmm. Or did he miss swap the paper? <laughs> Wrong paper? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> they made a mistake. It was not even intentional. It was literally an accident. They just happened to have a fucking teacher form and a student application. And we just gave them the teachers. All right. Well, I think this will be a lot more interesting, right? Because, like, Academy Arcs, it's a little bit, um... 
it's not overdone, but it's definitely a trope. I love Academy Arcs because this leads to like power fantasies, right? Especially in the entrance exam, everyone gets to see, everyone looks down on you for being weak, but you're actually really strong and you come out and you get graded as some kind of like irregular and then people look down on you, but then you beat them and you know, shit like that is really hype. But uh, uh, an Academy Arc as a teacher, this is, how is the power? Do we just like shit on them? Do we like flex on other teachers? Huh. Interesting twist. <laughs> it's a teacher exam. <laughs> I mean, it, it is still an entrance exam. It's just with teachers instead of students. I guess it might be more hype, right? <laughs> yep. Clerical positions. Is it for Shiki? If anyone, Shiki should be the teacher, man. He called us ugly there. Jesus, enough with the rose. Shiki's gonna kill you. Wait, wait, wait. That's an incantation! Wait! Wait! Oh, oh he's actually doing it. He actually just did it there! Honestly, honestly... Shiki's a great. I, I, maybe the word replacement is a little rude for Shiki. Uh, for Shiki because like I was gonna say Shiki's like a replacement for Tomoe and Mio, but Shiki's his own person. And honestly, I'm liking him a lot recently. This, he's actually just popping off. He's just shitting on everybody too. Yeah. <laughs> Bro looks like he aged 40 years. Oh oh oh. oh my God. <laughs> that filthy employee. <laughs> Who is this? Between her and Lily, I like Lily more though. Oh, you listen to that. This is a little passive aggressive. Battle of words. Mm -hmm. Is he ever gonna return? Is he just doomed forever? Like. Is, is, is Shiki, can he do anything about this or is he just done? <laughs> Bro's a grandpa now? Tactics? General tactics strategy? Is that huge clout? Yeah, we are. We got a shop. He's an entrepreneur. Merchant. Practical assessment. Practical assessment means fighting, right? Uh-oh, he picked the fucking worst one, which will probably be the most entertaining one. Practical only, let's go! Okay. There's like an elf there with arrows, blonde dude, and big boy. Return and drop out items, okay? Oh, this dude just straight up a lion. Wait, wait, did I hear that wrong? Hold up, what, what did you just say? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Only fighting between examinees is forbidden. So there's probably other monsters you can fight, but you can't fight each other, okay? Meaning we will probably come across each other. Monsters. Can we talk to them? Can we just reason with them? Hmm. Oh, three balls. Nice. Okay. So return with the three orbs in three days that you can find in the examining area while fighting monsters and surviving. Only three? So only one person can pass here? Okay. So broken. The orbs just actually float away. I thought they stayed in one place. So this is like like Quidditch, you know? Yeah, Hogw like Hogwarts exams. Damage it, it gets captured. Okay. Wait, other methods and the one that's specified. What kind of damage does it have to be? Wait, 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 wait. Only the specified attacks. Okay. So it kind of evens up the playing field for everybody. We gotta use these specific attacks, hit it, make it stop moving, collect it. Only physical. Why can't we just like use our domain Kai and then just like make it stop moving and just collect it? Can't we just do that? Punch it! Oh. oh. Is there more? Or did we just fail? 
We didn't just fail. There's gotta be more balls, right? There's, there's gotta be more balls, right? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you your magic to get it back. Don't break that one. Don't break that one either. No, no, stop, 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 stop. stop. No, 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 no. Well, there's gotta be more, right? Because there's no way that other people, because like, if other people are supposed to pass this test, you know, and if he's destroying it, like, it doesn't, it doesn't make, it make sense that due to his actions, other people can't pass. So there's gotta be multiple balls, right? Arrow. No, 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 no. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, we are actually too strong for this. We're straight up so strong that we cannot capture these. What the fuck do we do? Let someone else capture the balls and just kidnap them and just take it with force? That's the only way possible, isn't it? <laughs> yes. He just has a constant buff up for strengthening. Okay, it's gone. The poke it. Even a poke? What the fuck, dude? Look at all these that we destroyed. Well, we got three days for it. It's not too bad. Okay, really strong barrier. What if a bunch of different balls are outside now that's shattered because you put up a barrier that's really strong? Oh, never mind. Okay, never mind. Different monsters instead. Yeah, I wonder how they're doing. Are they clearing it pretty easily? Or hiding presence? Ranged orb. Arrow. No metal tip there, just the wood. Oh, no, 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 don't focus, don't focus. When you focus, it's scary. Oh, he just grazed it. He just grazed it with the, the, the end, the feathers, but... What the fuck? That's tricky. It teleports too? Okay, okay, okay. This is supposed to be a joke line, but like, you know, we just talked about he's a little bit unhinged at times. <laughs> okay, I'll just burn this fucking testing area down. Do it. <laughs> Chill, 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 chill. So, like, is that just a comedic gag? Or is the author hinting, hey, Makoto is not the sweet little kid you think he is? Okay. Grazed it again. Hey! What are we gonna do about the physical ones, though, right? Because, like, little, 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 little tap was too much. They all passed? Or did they die? They, oh, they could return and drop out, right? True, true, true. The magic one. Okay, debuff on. Weakened. Make it even weaker. A small breed. Very tiny breed. Hey, it worked! Hey, hey, hey! All we had to do was fucking nerf ourselves. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Another person is Appeared? Wait, they can? No, the fact that he keeps mentioning... Oh, did they already pass? They're already gone? Oh, someone appeared back? Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. No, this is 100% important. What's going on? And more monkeys? Wait, that's not a monster. That's a straight up an assassin. Wait, what? Is he part of the exam or... It's a ninja! Is it a monkey ninja? There he is! Oh? Nah. We're good, we're good, we're good. We can just casually catch it. Who is this dude? What the fuck? Oh. Oh, never mind. We can't just grab the blade. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. And we have one day for the. Uh oh. Supposed to look at the blade. So he has been going around killing the other candidates? Or at least injuring them. Why? The fuck? Does he do this every time? He got nothing better to do with his life? That play was pretty brittle, man. No, I doubt it. Been a while, man. Do we have poison resistance? I forget. How? I forget. Did we do something in season one with poison resistance? I forget. Meal? Meal's contract? Poison? Something like that, maybe? So he is hired. Oh, there's an assassin's guild. He's the one that poisoned us, but he's the one paralyzed. Yeah, stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Makoto's was like, fuck. 
He is right. <laughs> My line didn't work. Whatever. Yeah, apparently. You just gained it recently? Sure. Punch! Salute Mr. Assassin. That should kill him, right? <laughs> like, like <laughs> he got team rocketed away, too. <laughs> you can't land and survive this. You're dead. Damn. What can we do about this? I try to hit with like a blade of grass. And it's broken. Oh no! And there it is! Hey, that's three marbles. Three days. We're in. We're in. We get. <laughs> Did he just scream there and the fucking balls exploded there because of his scream? Look at this, look at this. Yeah? That was literally his, like, shout. <laughs> okay. Imagine he used the wrong item here. Because there was the bell and there was a the feather, right? If we rang the bell, I think we give up, right? That would have been the biggest fumble if we fucked that up. Nah, we got it. We didn't drop out. Uh -huh. And we destroyed a lot more too. Three of the same co Oh. Oh. Hold the fuck. But the but the beginning you were moving on three more. You didn't say three of the same color? You never s Fuck. So technically, we could have just, you know, got three of the blue ones because that was the easiest one with the boat. Whatever, we still did it. This is more impressive. Whatever. All right. Nani? <laughs> Normally, people return with the three of the colors susceptible to their best attack because they remember, it's like, we're trying to be as weak as possible for them. They can't even break it. We're competent in every department. Physical, magical range. That's right. Good to see you. Okay, we're a temporary instructor. Oh, right, the maid. We're supposed to visit her. Is the hapa gonna be good, though? Hmm, I wonder. Oh, Tomoe. But? CGI cup. That's the testing instructor. Did he hire? But that's the blue girl. That's the me. Wait. Oh, and that was this lake. Oh, I didn't even see it. My bad. That was the lake. Oh, shit. That's right. Tomoe and me were about to go there, you know, to see the fucking landscape that <laughs> Makoto fucking changed, right? This is the scene of the battle. Oh, interesting. But, okay. But, like, did the blue girl hire? Did the testing instructors hire? Someone made a request. Who, who, who? Interesting. Someone else did it. This maid is important? Never mind. She's wearing glasses. That's not the same person. It says a different blue haired girl. Never seen her before. Never seen her before. I thought it was the bartender me. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Anyways, that is the episode. We are getting back into the perspective of the main character that everyone loves instantly just destroys these clowns, right? So when we do become a teacher, right? Where, where are they, right? When we do become the teacher, they will probably, well, might not be our students, but it wouldn't be funny, right? If we meet them again in the academy and they're like, oh, you again. And it's like, he's the actual teacher, right? That would be like so fucking funny to me. And it's also funny that they have these little wands and they can only use like little floating spells. But um, they have like wind magic that we can't really use. I wonder why that's the case. That I would think that Makoto could have the affinity for every element, but we don't really have wind magic just yet. Maybe we just haven't really learned it yet. There's this new maid girl that was supposed to be in like a tavern girl that's helping us out at the... At the um, she has the hot pot, hot, pot, hot pot place, right? Not really sure what's up with her. I mistaken her for the other blue hair girl at the end. There's so many fucking blue hair girls in this show, but it's great. It's a great color. Little academy arc, the teacher exam. It was a bait. I didn't know you could just do like, I swear to God, he was floating around three fucking marbles. Return to the academy within three days with three of the three types of orbs. Three of the three type of orbs. It's very ambiguous. You're not really saying it can be all of the same. Maybe he intentionally did that. 
because he didn't want anyone to pass, right? Plus the other client summoned like the hired assassin. So maybe this is intentional. Maybe he was fucking holding back. But regardless, we excel in each department. Everybody here has to try their utmost best, try to figure out what they're the best at. Is it physical? Is it range? Is it magic? And then they one trick pony that so that within the three days, they can barely manage to get three of the same kind. But we are fucking different. We have to nerf ourselves. We have to intentionally nerf ourselves and make us even weaker <laughs> so that we can pass. And this assassin, this is just goofy. Where did you come from? Bro went out like fucking Team Rocket. I wonder who hired them. Someone is trying to gatekeep the practical teachers from arising. I wonder why that's the case, but that's it from me. Hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlists for more content. And until next time, take care.